Hey everybody, yep, it's me, Jeremy, and I am back. That's right, I am home at last. Uh, 13 days in the hospital. Uh, actually in two hospitals. We'll tell you about that in just a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've been in the hospital for the last 13 days, but I finally got to come home today. I'll tell you how that came about in just a minute. But, um, yeah, um... Spinal stenosis for the suck um, on this one because uh, for the next uh, three months, this is pretty much the way you're going to see me. And uh, yeah, I got to tell you, it's not fun um, already. I'm not enjoying this, not in the least. Um, so let me tell you what's going on here. Um, I have a the collar that I'm wearing right now is called a Miami J collar. And basically what it's supposed to do is stabilize my neck. It holds my neck in place. And literally, this hurts. This, this literally, uh, well, actually it doesn't really hurt so much, but it, it, uh, it's taking some getting used to, um, to sit up like this. And so for the next three months, I'm going to be wearing this collar 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, pretty much. Uh, 30 days a month. So, for the next 3 months, I'm going to be like this. Um, and, uh, what they did is they took the, uh, they took the C7, or the, uh, they took the, uh, disc out between my C4 and my C5 vertebrae, and they, um, and they uh, replaced it with plate, with a metal plate and some bone. And then they, um, and then they uh, fused my C4 and my C5 vertebrae. And that's basically what they did. And I have a scar now on this side, or is it this side? I think it's this side of my neck. Uh, and I can't show you the scar right now because I'd have to take the neck brace off and I can't take the neck brace off. But if I could take the neck brace off, I'd show you the scar. And it's a pretty nasty scar. Uh, it's probably about, uh, maybe about that long. About that big. Yeah, it's a pretty big scar. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I've got a pretty big scar right now. Um, and, uh, it's not fun. But, uh, so I've got to deal with that. Um, but, uh, so, for the next three months, I wear this collar, even in the shower, yes. Even to take a shower, I have to wear this collar. Uh, I change the collar, the pads, out to take a shower, uh, for the next three months. And, um, so basically, that has to happen. Um... And so, um, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of rough. It's gonna be rough for me for the next couple months, but I'm going to deal, I'm going to manage, uh, just like I have everything else. Um, you know, I, I, I manage with everything else in my life, I'm gonna manage this. Um, it's just another setback in the road of life. Um, for the next couple months, I'm also very restricted in what I can and cannot do. Places I can and cannot go. I cannot take myself anywhere, really. Um, which means I cannot take the bus anywhere. Um, I, you know, um, I'm going to have to have people driving me places. Which I don't look forward to all that much. Um, I like my independence. You guys know that. I like to be able to take the bus wherever I want to go. So... Um, yeah, uh, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, other than that, uh, get used to this look for the next couple months. And it, believe me, it's not going to be that I'm not happy or sad or showing other emotions. I am. I'm, it's just kind of hard to, uh, I'm just going to find different ways to express them for a, a couple months. 
while I'm in this neck brace. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, um, back to, uh, back to how I got out of the hospital, though. That was kind of interesting this morning. Uh, what was going to happen initially was I was going to wait until about 5, 6 o'clock tonight. Mom was going to come and get me after work. Well, uh, the hospital said, hey, we can get you a van transport to get you out. I said, okay, but I need somebody at home to help me get up the stairs because I'm not allowed to climb up the stairs. That's another thing. And they said, oh, that could be a problem. Well, luckily, we were able to coordinate that, and they got me out, and I got home just before 11 o'clock this morning. So I've been home since about 11 o'clock this morning, uh, when I wasn't expected home until 6.30 or 7 o'clock tonight, which is good. Uh, so it's good to be home. Um, it's good to be away from hospital beds and things like that. Finally, at last, thank God. God, because I'm tired of hospitals. If I see the inside of another hospital room for a long time, it'll be too soon, in my opinion. I don't, I don't have plans on seeing the inside of a hospital room for a while, if I can help it. <sighs> but anyway, um, yeah, the hospitals that I was in, Saint, uh, or I'm sorry. A university Hospital in Cincinnati and the Gateway Rehabilitation Hospital in Florence. Uh, they both treated me okay, at least, um, if not decently. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little more staffing at uh, Gateway on the weekends, but that's something for their survey, um, and uh, especially weekend nights, but uh, that's something for their survey to talk about, and, uh, yeah, so, um, that's about it for this little vlog here, just to let you know that I'm home, I've recovered, uh, well, no, I'm not recovered yet, I've got about three months in my recovery, as far as the neck brace goes, uh, probably six months total recovery time before I'm fully, uh, up and normal again. Uh, which is going to take me through the rest of the football season. Uh, as for Bengals Nation, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to try to make a taping, a one-off, uh, later this year. Uh, I'm shooting for Browns Week, because I do have tickets to the Browns game. I want to go to that. I'm planning to go to that. Um, I'm shooting for that. Um, we'll see how it goes. But, uh... That's it for this little uh, hip shot vlog, I guess, or Life of J-Bo. I'm Jeremy Moses. Thank you for watching this. And I hope to see you right back here in the very near future. Take care, everybody. God bless.